All right, Shalom. First off, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shah. Double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone, and a sincere Shalom to all the Akim out here that's doing and pushing the work in truth and sincerity. Um, I want to go in on uh, this vision that I had, you know, when I was uh, around the age of 13. Um, it lines up with uh, prophecy. You know, and I'm not saying this for myself, but more so of how, you know, trying to um, reach the elect and let uh, brothers know, you know, of um, Yahweh Shah returning. Um, well, the first vision that I had, um, me and somebody that I know was uh, walking down this uh, park, you know. And I looked to the sky towards the east, and I saw something coming on the clouds. You know, I'm 13 years old. You know, this is a vision that I had. So I'm looking at the clouds, you know, and I asked the person I was walking with, did he see that? You know, he said, no. Nah. So I asked him again. He said, no, nah, you tripping. So I started walking across the street, and as I was walking across the street, he said, where you going now? I said, I'll be right back. So I got hit from an MRAP, you know, one of the the government military vehicles. And as I got hit from the MRAP, I started floating up towards the cloud. Now, I looked back, he ran off, you know, the person I was walking with. But as I was floating up towards the cloud, you know, I landed next to Yahweh Shah, and I saw so many other people up at on his cloud, you know. And then he, you know, said who I was in the past. And at that moment, that was the most beautiful moment ever in my life, you know, in my whole entire existence. Now, who I was in the past really doesn't matter, you know. It's more so about... Yahweh Shah coming, you know, and me having this vision, you know, that he's coming back. So, mind you, I woke up 13 years old, didn't really read the Bible, you know, that much. So, I asked my family, you know, and I told them about the dream. So, they said that that was in the Bible. You know, I read the Bible all the way through verbatim, didn't understand it, you know, Throughout my whole entire life, I was always thinking, why, who who are, am I a Gentile? You know, are those, why are those people that are in Israel so special? You know, my whole entire life I thought that, you know. But more specifically, I want to try to break down this vision, you know, with the scriptures. Now, this is Revelation 1 and 7. It says, Behold, he comes with clouds, and every eye shall see him, and they also which pierced him, and all kindreds of the earth shall well because of him. You know, so when I saw that, that, that on <laughs> Yahweh Shah coming on clouds, you know, that was in the scriptures, you know. Um, the thing is that everybody on this 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 planet isn't going to uh die you know uh of course our our bodies are going to change you know but at the same time like everybody isn't going to um some of us are are going to have to uh die for the kingdom you know that's just the way that the lord set it up you know but um like and it's symbolic because when that M rap hit me, you know, in my vision, like I don't care about this this society, you know. I I I died and I floated up towards the, 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 the cloud, you know. But um this is Matthew sixteen and twenty eight. It says, Well I'm gonna uh start at the twenty fourth verse. It says, Then said Yahweh Shah unto his disciples, right? 
And I'm going to jump to the 28th verse. It says, Verily I say unto you, There be some standing here which shall not taste of death till they see the Son of Man coming in his kingdom. You see, that that's a regeneration scripture. You know, some of, some, some of his men, the, the disciples back then, they weren't going to see death until they see Yahweh Shai coming in his kingdom. You know, it says that there some of the, the, the men that are standing there won't see death until they see him coming. You know, so, hold on. So that's, that's basically uh, what's coming, you know, uh, for the future. This is uh, 1 Thessalonians 4 and 16. It says, For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of an arc of the archangel, and with the trump of the Most High. And the dead in Christ shall rise first, then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. And so shall we ever be with the Lord. Wherefore, comfort one another with these words, you know. And that's what I'm trying to do, you know, in hopes of uh, keeping brothers in the spirit, you know. Because Yahweh said, this, this truth is real, you know. And, like, before I even came into the truth, right, well, around the time, because, cause, you know, I was going through a lot of craziness in my life at a point in time, you know, and it took me to, to lose everything that I had in order to find, you know, Yahweh Basim Yahweh Shah, you know, and, and I followed, you know, tried to follow the Lord straightway. I knew I had to get my life right, you know, I always knew not to go against the Bible, but for some reason it was... You know, I, I just couldn't get over the, the, the Gentile part. I didn't understand that, you know. So once I got to understand it, I knew right away, you know. But I was going through a lot of craziness in my life, you know. And then once I started praying in the name, you know, and I started following the apostles of GMS, you know, I had a, a voice come to me in my head, you know, while I was asleep. And it said that I'm not learning false prophecy but my life would get harder. And sure enough, like, my life done got, like, extremely harder, you know. But at the same time, my faith done got stronger in Yahweh Basim Yahweh Sa. So, the thing is that this this truth is real, you know. And I know that some brothers, you know, don't uh, really, ha they don't have the, the, the gift of, of visions, you know what I'm saying, or dreams, you know. But, like, it, it, it shouldn't take another brother to um tell them about you know what i'm saying this like some some brothers should be able to pick it up you know just from reading you know but the main thing is that this is this is real you know this is this is a real thing you know yahweh basim yahweh is real and he's coming for his elect you know and everything like the prophecies that's inside the bible every single thing is real you know, so I'm just trying to, you know, hopefully comfort somebody, you know, because we're not in this for uh, the, the, the the wrong reasons. You know, yeah, the, the, the Lord ain't going to let none of his get plucked out of his hand. You know, if you continue to stay on this path, we'll be able to, you know, live it up and do what we have to do. You know, stay strong and, and, and continue to fight for y'all by some y'all shop. You know, because that's what it's all about, putting Yahweh Basim Yahweh Shah first, you know. But um, I'm going to go in on the uh, part of me getting hit and floating up towards the um, the cloud. Now, this is uh, 1 Corinthians 15, and I'm going to start at uh, 50. It says, Now this I say, brethren... That flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of the Most High, neither doth corruption inherit cor incorruption. Behold, I show you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall all be changed. In a twinkling, I mean, in a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, at the last trump, for the trumpet shall sound, and the dead shall be raised incorruptible, and we shall be changed. For this corruptible must put on incorruption, 
and this mortal must put on immortality. So when this corruptible shall have put on incorruption, and this mortal shall have put on immortality, then shall be then shall be brought to pass the saying that is written, Death is swallowed up in victory. O death, where is thy sting? O grave, where is thy victory? The sting of death is sin, and the strength of sin is the law. But thanks be to the Most High, which giveth us the victory through our Lord, Yahweh Shai. You know, so Yahweh Shai dying on the cross and, you know, being resurrected. That's a symbol of, you know, what's, what's going to happen, you know, for in the future. You know, some brothers, you know, going to be able to, to, to be the first that, that be resurrected, you know. But at the end of the day, everybody isn't going to, um, to, to die, you know, some, we're going to change, you know, so I'm saying this in hopes of somebody out here, you know, um, finding some type of comfort in it, you know, Yahweh Shah is coming, you know, and I had another vision, you know, the, the, the next day of me having that vision, you know, me and the brother that I'm a part of the camp right now, named Karat Zabah, you know, me and him came back to America and it was totally destroyed. Now, I'm 13 years old. I never met him a day in my life, you know. Then I end up coming into the camp. The first time coming to the camp, I mean, and I saw him, you know, and I was like, hey, I had a vision about you, you know. And he said the same thing. So it's just beautiful how... You know, before I had these visions, you know, and now all of a sudden I'm in this truth and trying to dedicate the rest of my life to Yah Basim Yahushah, you know, in hopes that my vision do come true, you know. And I hope that any brother that's watching this, you know, I'd be able to, you know, enjoy that, that moment with you, you know. So with that, I want to give all praises to Yah Basim Yahushah. Double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone and the sincere Salawan to all the Akim out here that's doing and pushing the work in truth and in sincerity. Salawan.